Hello you three and welcome to my art studio. Now there's a very good reason why I'm coming to you from my art studio today and why I'm also dressed like this and that is because I have some very exciting news I cannot wait to share with you all. So without further ado I am going to tell you all about a very exciting competition that is happening and that is the Royal Academy Arts Competition. Now for those who haven't heard of the Royal Academy it is an arts and institution, so a huge gallery building based in Piccadilly in London and it was founded many years ago in 1768 and its aim is to celebrate art through exhibitions and education so it celebrates paintings, photography, sculptures, you name it. Now the reason we are talking about the Royal Academy is because this summer they are holding the Young Artist Summer Show and that is where they are going to be accepting submissions so pieces of artwork from young people just like you. Now if you choose to submit a piece of artwork, your art will be judged by a panel, so a group of artists, experts and artistic professionals. And any entries that are selected will be on display at the Royal Academy and online, which is very exciting. So what can you submit? Now, you can use any medium or material that you like, and we are going to have a look at what that means in just a second. It doesn't matter when you made the artwork and it doesn't matter if you work in a group with friends or siblings as long as everybody is aged between 5 and 19 years old so fortunately your teachers can't um, enter but we know you guys are going to do a fantastic job so let's have a look at the different materials and mediums you can use so you can use paint pencils you can use crayons chalk there are so so many different mediums available to you and one artist that came to mind when I thought of these mediums in particular was Georgia O'Keeffe. Now she specialised in watercolours and paintings of really bright, bold, beautiful nature themed pieces. So lots of flowers as you can see in that picture there. So that's one thing that might inspire you and it's actually something that has inspired me because I also like to do some painting in my spare time and as you can see there I have used some paint in the uh, bottom left hand corner there are some watercolour um, penguins there for Christmas so again I'm inspired by nature but there are so many things that you yourselves could also be inspired by so very excited to see what you guys come up with. You can also use things around the house so everyday items like things that you might usually recycle so it could be junk modeling it could be using cardboard boxes or food containers plastic bottles things that you could find readily available around you every day and when i was thinking of junk modeling an artist that came to my mind was a pop artist called Eduardo Paolozzi and he used to make some really interesting sculptures that you can see on the left hand side there. They look quite sci-fi, quite out of this world. So again, you don't have to actually draw a picture or paint a picture, you can actually build something if you so wish. If you do take things from around the house, please make sure you ask a grown up first. OK, so another thing you can use is actual digital media. So if you've got an iPad or a device and you've got um, an art app, whether that's paint or something similar, you can actually make some art pieces on that as well. And an artist who's very well known for doing that um, in modern day times is a person called David Hockney. He's a British artist. And you can see there on the right hand side, he actually made that picture on an iPad, which is really amazing. If you Google some of his artwork, they look like they've been drawn with pencil or even painted, but on closer inspection, he's actually used a stylus pen and made them on his iPad. You can even use for Photography. Photography is also a medium. So whether that's using film photography, instant film photography, or even digital devices like a camera phone or just a digital camera, you can also create some fantastic art that way too. And a famous photographer that came to mind when I was thinking about this is Linda McCartney. And you can see there she has used instant film, so film that prints out straight away, and actually superimposed, so put two images one on top of the other to make a really interesting composition there of a man, quite a famous man if anyone can guess, with flowers on top of him as well, which I just thought was a really striking image. And also we can be inspired by what we've learnt this year in year three. So of course we looked at pop art, which was bold, it was fun, it was exciting. You've got Andy Warhol with his screen printing. You've got Roy Lichtenstein being um, 
being inspired by those really um bold and uh really creative uh comic books and then you have peter blake who we also looked at so again loads of different ways that you can create a piece of art i'm running out of ideas so i know you guys are going to have even more than me so let's have a look at some of the details of the competition it's free to enter and all you have to do is take a photo of your artwork and upload it to seesaw because your teachers have already registered each of your classes and they will upload the work to the royal academy for you if you like as you're uploading you can write a little summary of the materials that you use maybe some of the thinking behind the piece its name if you do wish for it to be submitted to the Royal Academy, then we will need verbal permission from your parents. But don't worry, your teachers will get that for you. Now, most importantly, you've got quite a lot of time. The deadline to submit your entries is Friday the 4th of March. So have a think about what you would like to do. Have a think about what mediums you would like to use. And we cannot wait to see what you guys all come up with. Good luck.